Welcome back to Movie Reviews. Today we will be looking at a thriller slash action film from 2019, titled, Polar. Spoilers ahead. Duncan Vizsla, known as the Black Kaiser, is a Damocles employee nearing mandatory retirement on his 50th birthday. Unknown to him, Mr. Blute, owner of Damocles, plans to sell the company and is inflating its value by murdering its retiring operatives, thus acquiring all of their retirement funds by way of a clause in their contract. Duncan lives in a remote town in Montana where he is gradually building a relationship with his neighbor Camille. He is haunted by flashbacks of his murderous past and attempts to cultivate a normal life, to no avail. After giving an ill-fated talk at a local school about foreign countries and combat, he buys Camille a pistol and tries to teach her to shoot but she seems disturbed by the weapon. Duncan is pressured into accepting a final contract by Vivian, a common associate of his and Blutes. He travels to Russia to fulfill the mission where he finds it was a setup to have him killed. Returning to Montana, Duncan is hunted down by Facundo's team, via his accountant and several fake addresses. After stopping to help Cindy with an apparently broken down car, the pair return to his house where they have sex. Duncan is trapped in his house by the team but he outmatches and kills them all except for Alexei, who activates Plan B and kidnaps Camille. Duncan discovers this from Alexei's girlfriend Junkie Jane and seeks the help of his old friend Porter, but is betrayed and drugged. Duncan awakens in Blute's mansion chained in place and is tortured for three days by Blute himself for killing Hilda, whom Blute was in a relationship with. At the same time, Camille is kept in a drug-induced and coherent state by Jane. Blute stabs Duncan with a slim knife and part of the blade snaps off on Duncan's titanium hip replacement. Blute also slashes Duncan's face and stabs him in the left eye. Overnight, Duncan uses the knife shard to pick the locks on his manacles and by morning he escapes the mansion, killing many of Blute's men. He travels to Jasmine, an old friend of his, who treats his wounds and supplies him with weapons. Duncan calls Vivian and offers himself in trade for Camille, which she accepts, but on Blute's order she double-crosses him and sends a hit squad, accompanied by Alexei and herself. Duncan gives Vivian a chance to walk away but she refuses, and he uses remote sentries to kill the entire force and leaves a wounded Vivian to her fate. Duncan returns to Blute's mansion where Blute's remaining henchmen abandon him and flee rather than face Duncan. Blute awaits Duncan alone and is decapitated. Duncan rescues Camille and returns to Montana where he treats her. When he awakens one morning he finds newspaper clippings of the murder of a family many year prior, which he recognized as a hit that he, himself, carried out, albeit with bad intel. The only survivor of the family was a young daughter, who grew up to be Camille. He finds himself at gunpoint and explains what happened to Camille before telling her to close her eyes and pull the trigger, however she spares him. Camille asks him to help her find out who ordered her father dead and he agrees. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't miss other videos just like this, thanks for watching and goodbye.